pulled up on the side of this little track, um, northeastern Victoria. Uh, it's been raining when I left in Melbourne, came over Black Spur and it's not raining, but it's uh, overcast. I've had a look at the river down further um, when we crossed it on the road and uh, it's looking like it's running a bit high, but we'll still have a crack, see what happens. Um, yeah, so I've got my old waders on, the old bog catches. So um, yeah, let's go check it out. You can see behind me, um, the river's running pretty hard, um, but you know, we'll still get a crack. Um, I haven't fished this part of the river before, but it uh, seems to be a track running all the way down the side of it. Um, I've fished different spots up further and uh, down lower, but uh, sort of here I've never gone in. So I might head down this path, sort of see where we end up and yeah, just cruise along. I'm not getting any, I'm not going too crazy today. I'm just recovering from a hernia operation. So um, I'm not uh, moving the best. So I'm just sort of trying to take it easy. So it's going to be fun in these waders too. So I'm using a, uh, what have we got? It's a Sage Flight rod. Um, it's a five, six weight, nine foot. Probably fairly overkill for this river, um, given how much overgrown stuff and snags there are. Um, I would love to uh, buy a smaller, lighter rod, um, but like all things, this costs money. We'll get it eventually. I bought this rod about 10 years ago, so it's been doing quite well. Um, my last rod I snapped in a door while getting excited for a rise. That was a horrible, horrible trip. So today I'm gonna fish a uh, dry fly and a nymph down low. Um, just to search water and sort of see what's going on basically. So I'm kind of wanting to fish for something that I can see well. Um, I've tied up these ones myself. I like a little um, little royal wolf. Um, this stuff on the top here is this high vis uh, white stuff. Uh, it floats really well, dries really well. Look, I haven't had any trouble with it. Um, it should be deer hair or you know whatever, but that is a lot easier to see and a lot easier to keep dry for me. So I'm sure other people catch a lot more fish than I do, but seeing my fly is nice. <laughs> so what I do is I just slide the dry fly on, then I tie these two together, just sort of, now I don't know what the technical name is, a loop knot, whatever. Basically you go around a couple of times, always wet your knots, pull it through, then we'll go down maybe, I don't know, 300 mil, 400 mil, roughly. And we'll grab a, a nymph to run on the lower. Again, I've tied a couple of these up. Um, sort of like a Copper John, I guess, with a bit of a flashback on the back. Um, give it a try. I've recently got reading glasses, and uh, I'll tell you what, trying to thread this line through the eye of the hook, really reminding me why, and why I should have them with me. So this, uh, tying the fly on, um, Pretty standard. I'll run through these knots later when I've got a bit better thing, but um, pretty, pretty standard. Oh man, can't see anything. It's horrible. Again, wet your knots. So yeah, so here we go. We've got a dry fly, which will sit on top. Oh, I'm going to cut those tags off, of course. And then uh, down below here, you've got the nymph sitting there. So hopefully if something takes the nymph, that'll take down the dry fly. You strike. Uh, I tend to strike a lot because it usually hits a rock. And I think, yes! Not the case, but uh, yeah. We'll see how we go. So, uh... That was pretty tough. Um, it's flowing pretty hard. 
and uh, it just each pull's difficult it just gets snagged on everything uh, so what I might do is um, we're sort of up in the mountains here as you can see um, might head down or upstream oh, sorry downstream into sort of more farmland a bit flatter hopefully a bit more space um, yeah and I can sort of just come in and out of the river rather than waiting because uh, there was a few times there where I thought I was gonna lose my footing a bit so I've just come down to the uh, lower area of this uh, river um, a lot more farmland around uh, a lot more sort of entries and exits that I can sort of just come and go as I need to rather than boulder hopping because uh, it's running pretty high this might be a bit of a better option just for safety I uh, <laughs> nearly nearly lost footing especially in these waders they're just like a pimple sole you can sort of see there is no grip at all so um and once the water's up around your waist that's it's a death sentence plus i'm fishing alone so i'm trying to steer stay sort of um closer to sort of the main roads and stuff like that so i'm still getting phone reception everywhere i'm going as well which is just in case That's better. Nice brownie. There we go. That's nice. He took the little copper john, so a good little fish. Let him go. There you are. He was tucked right up in the side there. So I've just changed spots, got in the car, drove off. <laughs> super careful of uh, not slamming my rod into the uh, car doors I've done it twice now so I put the rod on the roof um, got in the car had a drink drove off and forgot to take it off the roof so halfway down the road heard this noise and there was my fly rod skidding across the bloody thing I've just um, snapped the handle scratched it a bit but lucky 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 anyway so look here's the river again and right next to all this sort of open farmland I'm finding it a lot easier just to walk this river at the moment because it's um it's high and it's pumping but uh yeah get a couple little hits but yeah it's it's tough fishing Yes, good one. Little rainbow. Nope. Oops, he popped off. That's right. So that was pretty handy there. Um, first cast, <laughs> pretty much hit a rock and uh, got caught in there. So now I've got to retie, new fly, and uh, I, yeah, I lost everything on that one. So I got lucky on that last one, but. A nice section here, which I've ruined now because I hit the tree as well. <laughs> All right, so uh, these, oh man, that'll be the last time I use them. I've got some Sims, um, big uh, breathable ones. But um, a while ago, my boots broke and just haven't had time to get them. But I think I'll make an effort to get them straight away. I managed to fall in uh, well, about four times, filled up everything with water. I'm just absolutely saturated. It's good. Uh, so, yeah, it was a fun day. Ended up getting a couple more fish just then. Um, I was a bit worried about conserving the battery on this. I'll have to um, work that out for next time. But 
uh, a tough day's fishing, very tough. Um, a lot of water, pretty cold. Um, but yeah, managed to get a couple, all on the nymphs. I had one check out the dry very early, but yeah, no action on, on the surface. So yeah, now I'm just gonna get warm in the car and have some barbecue shapes. All right, I'm in the car, I've got the heater going. Wet socks, wet pants off. I'm uh, nice and dry now, which is good. Uh, pretty cold, but it was a good day. Um, yeah, nice to just get out. My toes are pretty sore, but um, that happens from those waders. Until next time, enjoy. <laughs>